Hey everybody, Kyle here, and I am back, finally. And well, you can't see it right now, but I'm in, I'm in my new office slash apartment slash studio, new space, everything. And we're finally getting back on track, finally all settled in, and uh, we're gonna start off this year officially, even though I went to PAX, uh, there's so much that went on at PAX that I'm just going to let it soak in, and maybe the next time I go to something, I'll do a full-blown video on it. I did, however, put up an interview in conjunction with the Geeks Worldwide with the devs of Marble Mountain. Uh, it'll be a VR game set to release around the time of the HTC Vive, Oculus, and so on. So go check that out. I'll put a link down in the description below. So that is a piece of PAX uh, South coverage that I did, but that's about it. But anyhow, on to today's video. Today, I know it's been out for a while, but I finally picked one up because we don't have cable. We don't have antennas anymore either. So I went ahead and I picked up a Roku 4. So today we're going to do the unboxing of it, uh, kind of go over what's inside, and uh, hook it up, play with it, and see if this whole 4K bit really pans out or if it's just First things first, I guess we'll go over what it shows here on the back. And it talks about 1080 versus 4K, and you get an idea of what it is, and you get a quote from CNET, and that's all great. Here's your technical specifications showing that you get 4K Ultra HD streaming, advanced upscaling, so going from if you have a 4K TV. It'll upscale 1080p content to 4K for you. 10-bit color depth, a quad-core processor, optical digital audio port, so you can plug that right into your, your sound system directly with that if you want. You have 802.11ac MIMO wireless, which is really great for uh, wireless communication and streaming that 4K content over your network. Uh, only 10100 Ethernet, though. That's a surprise. Anyhow, micro SD and USB ports, and it is compatible with iOS, Android, and Windows 8. You also see here that you've got your enhanced remote, fast and powerful streaming, and all of the other stuff. And what's nice, and I don't know if you can read it here or not, but it tells you what's included. The Roku 4, Enhanced remote with voice searching and gaming, two AA batteries for the remote, and a power adapter, and it tells you what you need. An HDMI cable, a TV with an HDMI port, <laughs> and it tells you if you want 4K, you need to have a 4K capable uh, internet and wired or wireless router. So, and again, the front of the box, some of the more popular apps right there. That being said, going to cut it open and we'll see what's inside all right so oh I don't know you can't even see that on here here let me see if I can uh, fix that real quick there we go there you go, wait, wait, there you go, now you can see, and that looks good. You know, packaging is one of those things that, yeah, it's simple, but, you know, it really can make a difference. So the fact that it just looks as clean as it does, right there out of the box, I like that. So, we'll set this aside. But I gotta say, it feels nice, it's got a good weight to it. It does have that shiny protective plastic around the edge. That loo of unbox there would be oh so loves to just peel off. And I have to say, I would agree with him. It's a very satisfying feeling peeling this off, and I don't know why. Maybe just because it's something new. Anyhow, we're getting in the weeds here on stuff that's not as important to this video. 
but still a delight. Alright, so, bam, there's the unit, there's the back side. Well, since we're here, we're just going to go ahead and go over it. Okay, so here's your USB port right here on the front. Nothing, nothing, and here's your input, so you've got your, your 10100 Ethernet, your optical audio out, HDMI, your micro SD, and your power. And then the bottom, and you got a little bit of vents, but this thing's so power efficient that you probably don't need to worry about it. So we'll set this aside. Here we go. We'll do this. Wabam. Now, taking the top off, I'm going to say the packaging on this is actually pretty nice. Well, hello, streamer. Let's get you started. <clears throat> okay. So I'm assuming this is just an instruction manual. Set that aside. And you got your standard. You have... Oh, looky there. Okay, so here's some... That's... No, you won't be able to do that. Okay. So, anyhow. You got some earbuds. <clears throat> Earbud tips, I should say, that go with your earbuds. <clears throat> so you got a couple of different sizes. There's three or more, so technically a few plug these into your remote. Now the remote has what I would say three of the four core uh, auto jumps for me. Netflix, Amazon, and Sling. Uh, radio, not so much. If I could remap that to like YouTube or Twitch, now that would be, that'd be pretty awesome. But you got your home button, your back button, navigation arrows, search, you're in content navigation, A and B, because I'm pretty sure there's games that you can play on here. But yeah, so there's a remote. And you've got your volume up and down right here, and I believe that is for the headphones, which supports that here. You know what, here. Again, more of that. Oh, so satisfying. Filling up the plastic off. Okay, so let's try this again. <clears throat> All your buttons. I know you were able to see them last time, but I'll do it again. And actually, I wonder if I can. There we go. Is that focus? Let's see. Close enough. If I'm back here, it looks like it's good. Okay, so again, you have Netflix, Amazon Sling, radio, which I'm assuming is just like a streaming music service. Home back. I gotta say. So far, the buttons actually feel pretty nice for a remote, but could also be like a little game deal. And so here's where you plug in your headphones that you get right here. Right, yeah, oh, 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 get that lot going on, yeah. Anyhow, so there's that. Oh, you don't get like knockoff batteries, that's nice. You get like brand name batteries, sweet. And then, of course, your power adapter. So, let's take a look at it. All at once, one more time. Here, we'll put this smack dab in the middle. And then you get, like I said, your power, the remote. Pull these earbuds out. the different tips, batteries, and we'll get this out of here. See, you know, I think I am out of HDMI cables, so I'm going to have to go to Best Buy and pick one up for this. It would have helped if I had it before. And our uh, quick start guide. So there you have it. That is your Roku 4 unboxing. And uh, when we get back to the next half of the video, we'll get it set up. We'll play with it. We'll see what we think.